Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I would like to share with you a brand new Dollar Tree haul. I am so excited about all of these finds. I actually went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and I went to three different Dollar Tree locations and it's funny because I went to one that's right in my city and then two that are a little further away and at the one that's right in my city, I was able to find so many new products, but at the ones that were a little further away, I didn't find anything. I don't think I bought anything at all at those locations. And I found so many new finds. I am so excited to share this haul with you. In the comments below, let me know some of your favorite finds from Dollar Tree right now. Are there any new products that you guys are really excited to see? And are there any new products that haven't made their way to your Dollar Tree locations yet, but you've seen other people share? Let me know in the comments comments below. All right, let's jump into the Dollar Tree haul. So the first thing that I found are some poster stickers. Aren't these so adorable? It's like a little birthday selection of stickers. It's so cute. My original thought was to create a little section of my classroom for all of my students' birthdays and sort of outline it with this and decorate it with this. Um, and you know create different months and then write the students names that have their birthdays in that particular month and then we can celebrate their birthdays i guess i didn't read this whole thing and i just saw this on the back it says that it's repositional on foam board and poster board and it's removable on painted surfaces and walls so I can use this, yay! Because what I was going to say is, if I can't take this off the walls, I'm not going to use it in my classroom because I obviously don't want something getting stuck to the walls. So I'm going to use this to create a birthday wall for my students, and I actually picked up several of these. I'm really excited that Dollar Tree is sharing so many teacher resources and teaching resources, and I hope that the teaching tree selection continues to grow. I found a ton of new pocket charts. The first ones I found are these right here, and let me share with you a little closer what it looks like. So I think it is a five pocket pocket chart. I think that there is one long pocket on the top, and I think there are four pockets below. So the way they use it in the example, um, they have the word family N, E-N, and then they have the words pen and 10, so that you can, you know, then add a picture of a pen next to the word pen, and then the number 10 next to the word 10. I think that's a great way to use these pocket charts where you're able to have like a focus on top and then some pictures to support below. Or you can even make it interactive where the kids are able to um, write their own words and then put them in the pocket chart or they're able to match the word to the picture. So I actually picked up four of these. I found red, blue, purple, and green and I thought it would just be nice to have four different colors. It would also just make the classroom really colorful too. So I found four of those. And then the next one I found is another pocket chart and it says pocket chart scheduler. And let me show the picture a little closer. This is what the picture looks like up close. You could definitely create a schedule for the day. You could certainly use this at home as well. You could say, okay, from this time to this time, we are doing outdoor play. And from this time to this time, we're doing lunch or math or reading. I also like them for organizing vocabulary words or um, even just focus words for the lesson or sentence frames. There are certainly so many ways that you can use these. And I found this pocket chart in blue, red, purple, green and then a pink. I was hoping to also find this style of pocket chart in pink so that they would be coordinating, but they didn't have it, um, pink in that style. I definitely love all of those teaching resources that Dollar Tree is sharing right now. I also found these Crafter Square aprons. I think I might have seen aprons at Dollar Tree once before, but I really love these. They seem to be a really nice quality and look at all of the different colors that they have, which is a really fun find. Um, it says, let's see, it says, for ages three and up, and it says that it is stain resistant and that they are 20 inches. They had it in blue and green, yellow, and then they also had it in red. So I found that in the Crafter Square section at Dollar Tree. That section is quickly becoming my new favorite part of Dollar Tree. Then I found these marker storage containers and I thought that this was a really unique and fun find. I have some nice markers that I purchased when I started using my Happy Planner last year and I'm wondering if they will fit in this container. So it has two latches just like that and then you can open it up and you can put your markers in there. And I'm thinking you can store 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you can store like 22 markers in here. I thought this could be great for a student's backpack. You could even set, probably use this for colored pencils as well, or even just pencils and pens and things like that. You could definitely put so many of their supplies right in here and then pop it in their backpack. And um, I really think it's a great deal for only a dollar. So now we're going to go to a completely different part of the Dollar Tree store and we are going to the hair section. And the hair section really isn't one that I go to often. I do sometimes, um, but it's just, as you guys know, I often toss my hair up in a bun and it's just easier for me. I actually wanted to curl my hair today, so I just ran the, the curling iron through it a little bit. I would like to spend more time working on different hairstyles and different looks and sort of just changing things up a bit. I found so many new fun headbands and scrunchies, but before I share that with you, I also found this hair donut Nothing fancy, but I have used these over the years and I can't find the one that I recently used, so I bought one of those. And I also found some bobby pins. I have no idea where my bobby pins went. I used to find them all over the place. Seriously, I would find them in every single room of the house and now I have four right now and they're all they're all in my hair right now. I picked up some bobby pins just because I was in desperate need. So now let me share with you all of the headbands and scrunchies that I found. I found three of this first headband. It's almost like this faux velvet material. It is so pretty. It just sort of like goes together like that. I found it in three different colors. I found it in black, in this really pretty soft pink, and then in this blue, oh my gosh. I mean, look, it, it looks very similar to the color of my shirt. This blue is gorgeous. <gasps> I just love it. I'm not very familiar with using these for my hair, but I'm definitely willing to learn. So I'm very excited about that. The next items I would like to share with you are these scrunchies. These are all in that like faux velvet kind of look. The first one is this olive color, so pretty. I love olive green, one of my favorite colors. Then I found it in this pale pink color, super pretty. I also found it in this like red pink fuchsia. Oh my gosh. Velvet just makes, like velvet or faux velvet just makes everything look so beautiful. And then the last one is blue, so pretty. <gasps> I just love this. I think this is so gorgeous. So these are the four colors that I found the scrunchies in. So pretty. Then I found this auto cell phone holder. It's a cell phone holder for your car. And it actually attaches to like the vent. I have been wanting some I have been wanting something like this for my car for a while. I don't know if my phone's going to fit in it, but hopefully it will. Um, and they had them in black and white, so I picked it up in the black. And I'm going to give it a try and see if it works, but I've been looking for something like this for my car for a while. So then moving on to the frame section and the wall decor section of Dollar Tree. My local Dollar Tree had so many new products in this area and all of them were just so beautiful and I just wanted to buy everything there. I spent so much time in that section of the store. Also found these pieces of canvas art that are calling it wall art, but it's in like a canvas style. And this one says, brush your teeth. And I have the perfect spot to put this sign in the bathroom. I think it's cute and I love the mixed fonts. They had so many different styles in this wall art. And I looked through the entire box and every single one was different. There weren't two of the same style. Um, so I definitely loved looking through all of those and I thought this was a really fun find. And then the last thing that I would like to share with you are some new photo frames. So this is the new frame that was at my Dollar Tree. Look at how amazing this is. So first of all, it has the wood trim. Let me get it a little closer so you can see it a little better. So first of all, it has the wood trim and it's in like a wood grain look. Then it has the clamp on it right there. So you could just attach easy way to change out photos or really anything that you want to hang um, right there in your, in your photo gallery. And then it also has this galvanized look to it. So these are not lightweight by any means. It's a pretty substantial piece, um, I think because of the galvanized metal. And then it has a little stand as well. So I don't think it's intended to be hung on the wall just probably because of how heavy it is, but I love it. I think it's just such a gorgeous 
piece. I haven't seen anything like this before at Dollar Tree. And that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite find was from this haul and let me know what items are you on the lookout for and let me know what items you have found recently at your local Dollar Tree. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!